Now on to matters uh, politics. The finance bill 2023 continues to elicit mixed reactions across the country. While some Kenyans are for its implementation, others are vehemently opposed to it its adoption saying it will further hurt a struggling workforce. Employers within the lending sector say if passed, they will have no choice but to lay off a part of their employees. Meanwhile, a section of Azimiola Omoja leaders have vowed to shoot down the finance bill saying it is not people friendly, especially in the current economic times. Kenyans continue to react to the Finance Bill 2023 that is currently at the public participation stage with employers in the lending sector saying they'll have no option but to fire their employees if the bill is passed. Its implication is, uh, it calls for a lot of engagement, public engagement, uh, mental and psychological preparation. Leaders in Nandi have however thrown their weight behind the Finance Bill in its current form. This is the Petitia Finance Bill. We will support what the president wants to do. It will not be easy. We came from the worst place. We want to make it better as we go forward. The Azimio counterparts have, however, vowed to shoot down the proposed finance bill, saying it is not alive to the current economic situation. Kiambu patron Charles Mbugwa, Homa Bay Senator Moses Kajuang, and Embakasi West Member of Parliament Mark Mwenje said if the bill passes in the National Assembly, they'll challenge it in the High Court. Ile sheria ambayo imeletwa ya kupandisha ushuru. Iyo sheria sisi na kina mwenje, tutaenda kuipinga na tutafanya kila kitu ili iyo sheria isipite. We are going to force, tutaskuma, tufanya kitu inaitua roll call voting. Roll call voting unajue na manisha nini? Mwenje asimame, aseme yes or no. Na zitu mesema, mbunge wako kivote, yes. Wewe ujue imu wakayote, unaenda unakula kuwake. This is newly rebranded Port Sako Chief Executive Officer Deda Nundiki is concerned that the proposed finance bill will force Kenyans to dig deeper into their pockets at a time when the economy is not doing well due to the high cost of living. It has been brought in too fast. Citizens have not been given time to have a look at it, give opinions, and then from there proper decision could be made, especially on uh, the 3% charge on housing. And political leaders from the Western region have called on Kenyans to give their views on the Finance Bill 2023 to the National Assembly Finance Committee. Tilio Marco for Sunday Express.